Hey, good morning, friends. Pastor Jason, just checking in with you on this beautiful, sunny Saturday morning for our time together. Today, I'm going to give you just a little bit of a sneak preview of one of the scriptures that we're going to talk about tomorrow for worship. This comes from the letter called 1 Peter. This is 1 Peter chapter 1, starting here at verse 3. Hear this. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy, he has given us a new birth into a living hope through the, rex, through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who are being protected by the power of God through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. And we're going we're gonna to open that, that up a bit further to tomorrow. We're going to read a bit more of that. But just, just hear just a couple of these phrases again about what we receive, what we receive through the resurrection of Jesus. A new birth into a living hope. An inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, that is being kept for us in heaven and that we are protected by the power of God. Just those couple, just those couple verses of scripture, friends, promise us so much and promise us so much that we need today. We need it all the time. But I would think it's fair to say that we're maybe more acutely aware of our need for these things today. New birth into a living hope as a result of the resurrection of Christ. Through it, we are promised an imperishable, unfading, undefiled inheritance. There is comfort, there is peace, there is strength, there is power in all of those things. I think what lays at the heart of all that, what lays, what's the key to all that is how how do we get there? You know, how, how do we lay claim to that? How do we participate in the resurrection to where that we start to kind of live out and really use all of those gifts that we are given? Yeah, that's kind of it's the direction that we're going to go at worship tomorrow. Don't forget, um, 10 a.m., Facebook Live. We'll put it on YouTube as well as soon as we can so that we're all able to worship together as much as possible. Um, yeah, so let, let those words of 1 Peter can just start to take, take hold a little bit today. Even today, even now with uncertainty and changes and just everything going on around us. Through the resurrection, we are promised a new birth into a living hope. So many, so many promises, so much has been given to us through Christ, that, and none of that gets affected by what goes on in the world. Unfading, imperishable, undefiled, that, that's what's waiting for us. Christ secures us for us, Christ has secured that for us, then he invites us to participate in that. Um, hope, I hope and pray that we're all able to, I don't know, um, to experience a bit of that resurrection power today, to feel and experience some of that new birth, to kind of feel some of that living hope. You know, let those things start to take hold within us today to give us a great place to start, a great place to start from this morning as we go throughout our day and the rest of our weekend until we gather for worship tomorrow. 
Um, thanks for your time today. Thanks for checking out our videos. If there's anything we can be doing for you, please feel free to comment or post. Shoot us a message um, until we see each other again. Though, so folks, be safe, be well, know how much that you are loved.